You are just about to meet James O'Shea, one of the stars of Kiss the Bride. This is Tori Spelling's fiance in the movie. She was great. Tori was great. Hi, I'm Jordan Roberts with True Vision Entertainment, and we are here with John Duran. He is the mayor of West Hollywood. West Hollywood actually has domestic partnership. Can you explain a little bit about how that came to being and, and what it means to the community? Uh, West Hollywood was the first city in the United States to pass domestic partnership laws. Right now we are at domestic partnership and civil unions, but we don't have full marriage equality. Yeah. What do you think about that? It's time. It's time. Mm -hmm. You know, equality is equality. You is there a parallel between the no biracial marriage and no gay marriage? Well, I think there is, but obviously certain civil rights leaders don't think there is. This is Michelle Paradise. You've oh, got a new show. I it do. used to be The Rules. Now it's X's and O's. X's and O's. Yes, it's uh, it's premiering in October on Logo. And this is Lee Friedlander, the director of Out at the Wedding. I just saw your buddy Michelle Paradise. Yeah, she's great. We have the TV show coming out in October. That's right. X's and O's. X's and O's. And Watch it's on logo. logo. Clean the pods, shut your mouth, and clean. Very good. good voice. <laughs> Sounds like something a Steve Buscemi character would say. When I read about that, I thought, wow, this is going to be amazing because you directed it. It's like a two-person movie. Yeah. And it's got to just have so much soul to it. How do you pick these projects? Uh, well, they, well, they kind of pick, pick me, you know. I like playing characters who uh, are, are going through a struggle and um, who have problems. We are about to interview Patricia Wedding and Ron Rifkin from Brothers and Sisters. I write more than I act, actually, in terms of time, but people know me as an actress. So One of the things I love about the show is its humanity and its political consciousness. How does it feel to be able to work on a show and have that experience artistically? <laughs> You know, I, I think why we look at each other is we're used to that thing. I mean, Robbie Bates is, is the, the head writer, and he's our really close friend. And the consciousness of that is the way we live our lives. What do you do every day to stay balanced so you can actually pull out that creativity consistently as you've done your whole career? And certainly it's great to be appreciated by um, audiences and, and, and peers, but it has always been this absolute blissful place of doing work that's, that matters. I want people to know you're real people and you're not just people who come here and scream on a corner. There you okay. go. Appreciate okay, so maybe I'll get between you guys. Okay. There are a lot of gay people who have taken Jesus Christ into their heart as their personal savior. Now, do you feel that they will not be saved because they're gay? Well, it's, it's not my standard that we're going to be judged by. It's God's standard. Is God conditional and is God punishing? God is not conditional and God is not punishing. God paid the price in Jesus Christ. That's the whole point of Christianity. God's love is for all. My God's not conditional. My God wouldn't punish. No. You don't. People realize it's the little things that matter. That when you pass someone on the street, just a smile sometimes changes their day. Because I know it changes mine when someone smiles at it's me. It's incredible. And your father is absolutely somebody who I've admired my whole life. Thank you. And it's nice to see that you're breaking out of the box and claiming what you want for yourself, and not doing it the easy way, but doing it the artistic way. Uh, I found that, you know what, if life doesn't create exactly what you want, you go out and get it. What's the strangest thing that you've done in preparation for a role? Well, I was the first nude actress ever in America <laughs> in Sweet Eris in 1968, before Hair, before Oak Calcutta, to uh, protest the war in Vietnam. We are here with Arthur Hiller. Arthur was the director of Making Love. Kate Jackson, uh, she was absolutely incredible, uh, the heart and soul yeah. that you put into that. Well, because she had to go through losing somebody and yet still loving them, but he still loved her also. But I'm retired. You retired, you're yeah. not retired. You're no, too I good did. looking, you can't retire. I did. It's nice to see you doing comedy. What's next for you? Um, maybe a big comedy. Cross your fingers. I'd love to see that. She also looks after our little baby boy and it's does an, talented. an incredible job. And she puts up with like... You have a baby boy? How old? He's 14 months. 14 months? Do you yeah. have a picture? Would you please show? Yeah, I okay, do. good zoom in on it. And this is Wolf. Now so, this. Yes. This is very unique. What does it mean to you? What is that? Um, it means prosperity. Yes? Yeah, um, I got it in Hawaii. Wonderful. I sound like Greg Brady. You know, when he got that necklace in Hawaii after he fell surfing or something. Was that the one um, with the spider? It was. Dante's cover. You guys having a great experience with this show? 
Oh, it's amazing. You can't ask for anything more. We're shooting the most beautiful place in the world. We're in Hawaii. With some of the most beautiful people in the world, too. Come yeah. on. Do you guys do any scuba diving or surfing or any skiing? Uh, we're not allowed to say that because, you know, that's not that's against our contract. Nobody did, any, nobody did anything dangerous, I promise. What do you think about this being the 25th anniversary of Stonewall? Well, I think it's coincidental because this was just my 80th birthday, so I have an anniversary, too. Well, as Bette Midler would say, damn, you look good! Well, of course I'm good. <laughs> I'm gay. I've got to be good. I found out you're on the honorary board of directors for the Matthew Shepard Foundation. I am. I am. And it's, it's an honor just to be asked. I, the, you know, Matthew Shepard affected my life in ways that I can't even explain, and his mother's become a good friend of mine, and they asked me to join the honorary board, so it's a real privilege. Yeah. yeah, what do you feel that we can do as a community to raise awareness and to stop these kinds of crimes from happening in the future? You know what, it's not so simple, but if we could just stop for a second and realize that there's no difference between our gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender brothers and sisters. Were you happy? as a man or did you find that when you transitioned or you started to have that hope that that's where you actually were finding that true centered happiness? Well I was never unhappy and the life of a man is exciting and fun and great and, and but it wasn't who I was. And I know that that is completely opposite of who you are. Can you tell me what your feelings are in terms of all of the people who say that gay people can't go to heaven, gay people can't be Christians? If we were living according to um, what I think is really the heart and soul of who we really are. I don't think we would be excluding anybody. Hi, I'm Jordan Roberts with True Vision Entertainment. We're here with the creators of the DL Chronicles on Here Television. Hi, guys. So Hi. it's exciting. The red carpet, yes. you look so spiffy. And look at you. This is a gutsy little outfit. I, I like it. You have fabulous hair. I mean, he's just the cutest, the cutest thing. I just love this. You look so great for tonight.